Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We in business now. Okay, now I see you. All right. I had poor connection, but it was poor because I couldn't see you. I'm like, where are you? Okay, boom, boom. Okay, hold off for me. Hold off for me. You're doing great. Hold on. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this lighting correct, huh? Okay, 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 okay. It look like we can be on and popping now. It look like we can be on and popping now, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right, so I had poor connection. I'm back on again. How's everyone doing? All right. It's Thursday all over again, people, and it's going down. This is JF Investment, Upscale, Upscale Trading Academy. Nikki Tangs, how you doing? You, hey, listen, so I have my ear pods on, right? And it, and it was like, doo -doo. So Instagram gave me a notification, right? And it was like, Nikki Tings. Have put added to her story. I'm like, damn, look how they say Ting. Nikki Tings. I'm like, okay, okay. So it's Nikki Tings. And I was, I was, I was cracking up. How's everyone doing? Listen, this is Upskill Trading Academy. JF Investments. We in the building. It's Thursday all over again. We have a special guest. Oh, man. How can we introduce our special guest today? Our special guest today, I want to say, is our motivation, cancer survivor, woman, Mother, entrepreneur, businesswoman, superwoman. Can I go on and on and on? Oh my goodness! You know, I, you see, I got the respect playing, right? Listen, that's respect, man. A apart from a, apart from a mom having having triplets, hey, bro. You go through this, you know. You go through this what she's been through. You know, I tip my hat to her, right? So, you know, before we kick it off and begin. We want to thank everybody for coming. Come on, people. You know you got to check my background. Huh? Come on, now. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. It stops right there. All right? Good, good, good. Great, great, great. We happy. Listen. Yes, 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 Miss Land. Listen, we want to give a shout-out to Land. Nikki Tames, we want to give a shout-out to, you know, our special guest coming up. I want to give a shout out. Listen, we on the radio, okay? Johnny Jasmine, what's happening? Listen, I just want to say first and foremost, we are on the radio, WZOP, that's 96.1 at 7.30 every day, talking finance and health. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tune in, man. We got the FM dial. Bon je bon. Bon je bon, we got the FM dial. But listen, we want to bring up we want to bring up our special guest again. I gave an introduction. I don't think I could I could hit it off pretty much. But um, I'm 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 over crunk. Um, oh yeah, listen. I'm detoxing, man. Y'all ain't. I'm detoxing, man. Listen. I'm, listen. Ooh. That thing got a tangs to it right there. That's a tangs to it right there. You know what that is? You know what that is? You know what that is? You know, listen, I ain't gonna take the spotlight. I ain't gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell, tell you that is later, all right? But this, yeah. Here you go. Look, 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 look. Woo! Woo! That's that. Woo! Make it change. Make it change, boy. All right, listen. Let's kick it off. Our special guest, you know, we, we, we're thankful that she's coming on board. And here it go. We hope y'all ain't nervous. It's going down. Let's bring up. Let's bring up real quick. Let's bring up. <laughs> What's going on, people? Yeah, what? Listen, I'm going to talk about it later. All right, we're going to talk about it later. But hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Because you can't be looking better than me, though. You already you already beat me. You already beat me out the blocks. You already beat, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Hello to everybody out there in JF Investment and Management World. I want to say hi, and I'm excited to be here. Oh, we, we're excited to have you. Are you kidding me? Listen, we, we tip our hat to you. You know, I want to begin by, by you. I want to begin by you. So I'm bouncing the ball on your court. And I want to begin like that and just say, you know, let us know a little bit about you. I want to know a, li I want to know a lot about your background and your story. You know, I want to hear from you. I, I want to hear from you. You know, I want to hear from you without any interruptions. If I interrupt, I'm sorry. That's just like that's just like the culture in me. That's that's the Haitian in me. I don't know, but 
<laughs> definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have you on board. And let us know a little bit about yourself. Well, um, like you said, Haitian sac passé, <laughs> and bread in Haiti. But I've lived here many years. Um, you know, humble beginnings. We lived up in New York. I'm now in Florida. But um, 33 years ago, I decided to go to law school. And it was my dream. I always wanted to be an attorney, wanted to be there to give a voice to the voiceless and advocate for the people who couldn't. And, you know, I did that. I loved it. Um, but in 2018, my life took a turn that I was not expecting. And I want to share the story because you see I'm wearing my pink. We are in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So this means a lot to me to be here with you today, the opportunity to share my story. But, you know, I had a great life, have, have a great life. Um, you know, never worried about money, never worried about anything, gave my kids the best of the best. And in 2018, I heard those words. It's positive. I became a cancer patient. I can tell you it floored me. And I'm sharing this because I know so many women have walked that path or walking that path or may one day, God forbid, walk that path. And I want them to know they're not alone. For two weeks, I was stunned. I was paralyzed. I couldn't do anything, didn't know what to do. But by the grace of God, I had angels that were strategically placed in my life that guided me to where I am today. I went through um, six rounds of chemo. And I have to tell you this, this is crazy. I never even thought it was possible. When I was diagnosed, my tumor in my breast was 2.9 centimeters. They sent me for a battery of tests that was taking like three or four weeks. Within two weeks, the results started coming in. The oncologist called me. She said, you know what? Forget about those tests. That tumor is now 14 centimeters. You need to be here in two days to start chemo. Well, hold on. Oh, I'm, 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 forgive me. You said, you said, hold on. Oh my gosh. That is, that, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you said 2.9 centimeters to 14. Is that what you said? That's exactly what I said, Jeffrey. Wow. Yeah. So I didn't even have time to panic. That's how quickly things went. So I, by the following three days after I got that call, I was already sitting in a chair getting my IV treatments of chemo. And I could tell you, um, you know, that whole process, I, had two, I have two girls, two kids. Um, and that was really my worry. The first two weeks, all I did was cry, thinking about what's going to happen to my kids. You know, like, how are we financially? Are we set? What, what's going to happen? Because we lived in a two-income home. And so um, going through six rounds of chemo, then I had surgery, I opted for double mastectomy. And then after that, I did five weeks of radiation. And then after that, I went through another 12 rounds of chemo. And then after that, you think it's done, I went through another year of chemo pills, which totally knocked me out, lost my hair, the whole nine. But through that journey, I learned so much. One, you know, there's something called receiving graces or people paying forward people i didn't even know for a year that i either said hello to or smiled to or knew just in passing joined a meal train that for a year when i was in bed not able to do anything people delivered meals to my house and that showed me the importance of a community when i tell you it takes a village that community came through. But in the meantime, my husband, who, God bless him, stood by my side every step of the way. I finally, after like two or three months of not being able to do anything, I'm like, you need to go back to work. You can't take me to every chemo treatment. You can't come hold my hands. We have bills. We have kids. You need to get back to work. And he's like, eh, don't worry about it. We got this. When I got better, I sat down while well, I kneeled first to say, thank you, God, for getting me through that. And I started to take a better look at what 
else I can do to prepare myself for the future. And realize that people I knew, friends, family, had never really sat down. Because if you're not challenged in life, you never know whether you're prepared or not for when those challenges come. Mm -hmm. And I thank God, my husband, having the financial mind that he had, we were prepared. I didn't know it, but we were. But so many people were not. And I wanted to be there to help people through their journeys and through their challenges. Sabine, I, I, honestly speaking, honestly, I did not know that. I did not know all that. I did not know all of that. That is amazing you are actually living with a purpose wow i didn't i didn't I, yeah i'm blowed i'm blown you said you was floored i know you was floored i i did not know that and uh that's wow that's be wow that's that 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 gives me a, a a higher respect for you that i didn't even i didn't even know was coming i think your vo your vo your vote but you know one thing that i did realize i was so lucky to have, um, you know, a husband by my side that knew what to do. Uh, and and in, in going through this, I started to talk to people. You know, I used to be, at first, like everybody else, when I first got diagnosed, I didn't want to tell people about it. I didn't want to talk about it. We would go out and I would meet people if they saw my port. They ought, anybody who's been through have a port, you know what's happening. You lose your hair and you have a poor, you know, people that know it, know it. And ladies come to me, and I remember this, the first time, months after I started chemo, my husband was like, oh, let's go out. You need to fight and kick. We end up going out. And I meet these ladies, and they come up to me, oh, are you going through chemo? And I'm like, uh, yeah, thinking like, hey, your business, right? But they actually sat me down. One lady opened up her blouse and says, I have my surgery, and I, you know, I, I my husband's standing there like, what the hell? But you, this you didn't even know them. Did you know them? I didn't this woman. I didn't even know her. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I got two. Don't worry, I got two. Right. <laughs> didn't even know this woman. But I can tell you, things like that started happening and opening my eyes up to how small this community really is how there are so many people out there ready to extend and help people through that journey. But when you're go going through that journey, you don't want to, especially in our community, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to tell people, but those things helped me immensely. It changed my, my life. Now, I don't go around opening my blouse to show people, but now, listen, since I did my reconstruction, yeah, I have been known to flash a person or two. So it does happen. Wow, amazing. You know, I actually read this morning, I read this morning where uh, statistically it, the breast cancer is more uh, prominent in, 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 in the whites, right? However, it's more aggressive. It's more aggressive in, in, in when it recurs to black people, right? And, 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 Absolutely. And, Wow, that's a make. Well, you know well, well. Do you know why that is? Because no. we, as a culture, we don't go to the doctor. That's so why. Many, that's why. That's why. Right? We may not have insurance. That's why. We can't afford it. Or it's just, you know, we as women in our community, we, we are the last persons to take care of ourselves, right? We take care of everybody else in the house, but we don't take care of ourselves. Because Ooh. breast cancer is something. You catch it early enough, there's right. so much to be done. Let, let me ask you a question, B, but are women, are women really checking themselves? Like that's a genuine question. Are they really are they really checking themselves for that or no? I think there are a lot of women that don't. They don't know how to do it or they don't do it. They don't think it's you know, yeah. Right, they don't, okay, it, they don't, okay, okay, I get it. But I'll tell you now, I'm the biggest, I sneeze, I'm calling, I, I mean, this is what's going on, but you need to check out the sleeve, the sneeze, right? And that's what we need to do as a community. Okay, well, well, well let's talk about,
about some prevention. Let's talk about some prevention. There you go, because I couldn't really see the pink. Let me see the pink. Let me, and I should have been wearing <laughs> pink. Oh my gosh. You made me feel so, I got some pink over here. I wish I had some, do I got some pink over here, man? What? Man, you, you listen, I, need, I need to, somewhere. nah. I need to speak. I need to speak to my uh my support team, man. Y'all doing y'all. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all about yourself now. They're not doing a good job. They're not really doing a good job. I should have support the cause. But let's talk about some yep. prevention. Donna, right? Donna just put it. Donna just posted a comment. Even people that have insurance in our community, they don't use it. That is so true, Donna. Very true. Elaborate. 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 <laughs> Elaborate. Listen. And, and it goes back to us women and men too, you know, like they too, they can't be bothered. But, you know, we are required to take our kids to the doctor at least once a year. And we do it because the state forces us to do it. But we don't, after that, we don't do it for ourselves, right? So the insurance, yeah, we have insurance, but either time, we're working our kids, we're doing other things. Our health is not a priority. And we need to make it a priority. Sabine, let's talk about some prevention matters, please. How can we prevent? How can we prevent ourselves from having, or uh, you know, this breast cancer or cancer yes. in general? What, let's talk about some prevention methods. Listen, early detection is the easiest thing. Early detection, and I'll tell you right now, October Breast Cancer Month. If you don't have insurance or you don't have the money, they have, Susan G. Komen has grant out there where you can get mammograms for free. Mammograms are probably the easiest way for detection. Yes, yeah, self-testing, definitely, you know, you do that at home on a regular basis. But the mammograms, they will see things way in advance. Once you have a film, they'll track it. Every year you go, they'll compare previous year. And so early prevention, go October, call the hospitals, the hospitals free grants from Susan G. Komen to provide free mammograms. Oh, don't say you didn't hear it. Don't say you didn't okay. hear it. And free, you, you know what I mean? Like, wait, listen, do, are, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Did you, are you saying, are you saying free? Or are you saying pro bono? No, 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 no. I'm saying free, like F R E E. Okay. Okay, F R W E. So, so, like Susan G. Komen has something called um, a navigator, a community navigator. And the one we have up here in Palm Beach is Haitian. She happens to be Haitian. But, like, like she'll take you to the, she'll babysit your kids if you don't have somebody to stay with while you go get your marriage. That's how, that's how important they'll it is. Arrange, yeah, they'll arrange rides for you to go to the hospital and get those things done. There's so many services out there. We don't, don't know about them. And it's not anything other than we have to be proactive when it comes to our health. Because all those people we love and all those people we want to take care of, when we're not there, they won't feel our love anymore. So we, right. we should start with us. I love it. I love it. My goodness. You know, I I, 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 I thank you for that because it's, it's all genuine. These are things, you know, I didn't know. I'm pretty sure our viewers didn't really know. But I love how you, you know, you, my goodness, you just you just opened up. You opened up and it's much respect for you for doing that. You know, just like you've seen them people and they opened up, you pretty much opened up. And it's all about awareness is what you're doing. It's about awareness. It's about, you know, prevention. It's about knowing these things that are against us, you know, watch out if you're, you know, drinking a lot of alcohol and not keeping up with yourself, you know, if you're not, you know, eating right and eating healthy, all these things can uh, ca cause or bring a cause to your health not being okay. I definitely thank you for that. I, I said pro bono because I know, I said pro bono because I know you were you were a lawyer or you are a lawyer. Is that correct? I am an attorney. Yes, mm -hmm. I practice. So what what, what 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 do we what do we specialize in? We actually are retired. Oh, I still work. I still have my license, but 
my husband hired me once I got diagnosed. Um, he didn't want to pick and choose what I do. And I provide you know, free advice or, or to people who are in need. But, um, I worked representing small to medium sized businesses for the majority of my career. Um, up north, I worked for an international union that had both, uh, they were in Puerto Rico, the United States and Canada, worked for them in multiple states. Um, and was in D.C. with them for a while with the international quarters. And so um, I was, con con contracts were my thing. When I went to right. law school, that was my thing. Right. And so my career has always been revolving around, around contracts. Um, my husband was a mortgage, a mortgage banker. And so um, we, I specialized a lot in real as a result of that and also represented uh, diverse, small to medium-sized businesses. Okay, that ties, that ties in. Because when I'm thinking about contracts, I'm thinking about, you know, we, we writing something up. Is it like, is, I, know, I know we wanted to touch, is it like on estate planning? Is, is that, what is that specifically? What is that estate planning? What is that? Has any, have, first of all, has anybody heard of that estate planning? If you have, <laughs> throw, throw a thumbs up if you have in the comments of a, a state planning now i got a little swang to my tongue so estate estate <laughs> planning has anyone heard of that talk to us about that what is that Ms. everybody's Lee? heard of it but people okay. call it different things right okay so estate planning in a nutshell it, you i'm gonna break it down to you okay okay it's pretty much deciding what's gonna happen with all your hard work belongings while you're still alive, what's going to happen with them after you, right? So you prepare, okay. make a plan for your estate, which are your assets, whatever they may be. You prepare for the future. When you get to a point where you can't decide anymore, it's already been written. You already made the plans, right? My, you know, I know people who, you know, by the time they're 25, 30, 35, once they have kids, They've already everything down on paper, what's to happen if they pass away or when they, well, everybody's going to, when they pass away, whether it's property, cars, jewelry, everything you own, right? Oh, well, well, really but, I, I don't, but hold up. How about, I don't have any assets. How about, if, how about if I pass away without any assets? Oh, do I need that estate plan? No. Every, you know, I always have clients tell me that I really don't have, I don't have anything. But I can tell no, you, I... <laughs> there are so many things that people have and they don't realize how important it is. Do you know, parents, if they die without having any plans as to what's going to happen to those kids and those kids are minors, guess who decides where those kids go? Uh, well, hey, this, Uncle. this being, that's a touchy, so we're not going to talk about the kids. That's a touchy subject. Got, got, well, that's what happens. That's what happens. The government is going to decide who's going to care of those kids. And if you have oh, family so you tell me this. That stand up and they say, hey, I'll take them, I'll take them. You know, they're, they're, they're related to me, I'll take them. The state is going to decide whether that, those persons are even fit enough to take care of your kids. Do you want somebody in a black rope that you've never met before deciding who raises your kids? So you mean to tell me if I put something in writing in the state plan and then would these kids go to such and such, that's where they're going? Absolutely. And oh you, my goodness. And, you, and this is why people always say, well, I don't have anything. People don't realize what is considered assets and what when you plan what happens to your estate doesn't mean you have to have you know a couple of million dollars worth of assets no that's not what estate planning is and estate planning covers what happens to you if you're incapa incapacitated and that's called a living will we have different types of documents that cover different situations right if someone is still alive but they're incapacitated you can do an estate plan that will determine and predetermine what will happen to that person. Well, this is amazing information. So stop, hold on right there, hold on right there. So I got, I got, I got, so I see Donna, I see Donna Green, she going, she going ahead of the game. I think she looking, I think she done looked at my, at my notes here, but it's okay. 
Uh, you know, it's okay. I got a I got a four part question for you. Listen, answer this for me, right? So, irrevocable trust, mm -hmm. trust, mm -hmm. will, mm -hmm. living will. Five part question and estate planning. Mm -hmm. What what's what's all the difference for me? I'm gonna say it again. Irrevocable trust. Take some trust. Notes, Right. Oh, you know, you know, you you know this from back in your back in your head. Irrevocable trust, revocable trust, trust will, uh -huh. living will, estate planning. Holla at right. me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you. Each of these documents do something different. We're gonna start with the living will. Okay. A living okay. will is exactly that. While you're still alive, if for some reason you fall into a coma, okay, or somehow you're incapacitated you have someone that you can name that's going to step into your shoes and make medical decisions for you, okay? That person, now there are two ways to do a living will. You can actually predetermine what you want in that living will. You can say, listen, with the way medical technology is going, if I'm in a coma, I want to stay on that machine for the next 15 years. I don't care. Wow, wow. And that's what to be done. Right? You have people that say, you know what? Yeah, I, I'm good. I've done everything I wanted to do. I've lived. You know, do not resuscitate me. Whatever you want done, you can put in that living will. And those are directives that take effect while you're still alive. That person that you name as your health surrogate has the right not only to make those decisions, they have the right to speak to the doctors or your medical team. They have the right to get a second opinion if necessary. If they find, you know, it's not really as aggressive as I would like them to be. They have the right to get a second opinion. They have to, the right to make decisions as to what kind of care you'll get. Do you want, when you're released from the hospital, I, you know, if you want to be at home, I, they'll get help. They'll get somebody to stay with you. So they, those are the kinds of decisions. They'll have access to your medical records, et cetera. So that's a living will. Okay. Absolutely a necessity, right? Because there are a lot of things that befall people today. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to pass, but you may be inca incapacitated for a few months or a few years. Somebody's got to be able to direct those things, okay? Second thing is a will. A will, there's one that you didn't mention. Uh -oh. power, power of attorney. So let's power talk. Of yeah. Wow, it's a power of attorney. Wow. Let me. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let, I'm, my, I'm, oh, do you need do, do when you write these things? Is a lawyer needed? Yes or no? You know, uh, there are all kinds of places where you can go, rocket lawyer or. You okay. know, legal Zoom where you can get these forms and fill it out. But, okay. you know, yeah, you can get a simple will done by going to one of those sites, $200, $250, whatever it is. But I tell okay. people all the time that even if you go that route, sit with an attorney so you can understand in each of these documents, understand the nuances because you think on how you word something in a particular document and you forget something, well, guess ooh, what? That's going to end up in probate court. So you have to be able to understand those documents. So I'm missing one then. A power of attorney is one. I can. It's a writing thing. Okay, go ahead, go, go, go. Keep, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to do the power just... I, th I, I, I thought my I thought my internet. I don't know if that's me or you. Is that my is that my is that my internet Am going I bad like that? I still with. You? That's yours. You. I hear you in and out. You're chipping. You're chipping in it like they told me this morning. You're chipping. You're chipping in and out. I think so. I don't I, know. Okay, don't you know. good. You good. Go yours. ahead. But anyway, I'm back. You think it's me? Okay. Am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the power of attorney is, attorney is a document that also functions by your own. What's, Again, what's the this, next one? 
names one person, maybe two people that will step into your shoes to do just about anything that you need. So after the power of attorney, so the power of attorney is only then you get to the will. The will that says, hey, this is what I own, this is what I have in terms of cash, this is where it's located, and this is who I want it to go to, right? So, and this is who I don't want to get a dime of my money. All of that can go into a will. However, the thing with the will is a will must be probated. So though you can get a will done for anywhere from two, maybe $500, sometimes if you have a lot of assets, 900 to 1,000, the problem with a will, you will always end up in probate court. Whether or not people all agree with how things are gonna be divided, you will end up, not you, but your heirs will end up in probate court. Why, is, why, why is it, why? Everything black and white, I wrote it down. Yeah, you're right. But what happens is a judge has to, to verify the authenticity of that document. It has to be ver okay. Okay. verified that your signature is your signature. It was written okay. properly. Now, understand if a will is not written properly, guess what? That gift to that person gets voided by the court where that's going to go, which is why okay. it's important. Okay to know what's going into that will and not just use the templates, the boilerplate forms. Okay. okay. So the next one is the trust is the big thing, right? So now a lot of people say, oh, oh yeah, I don't have enough assets to spend, you know, over a thousand dollars. This may cost you anywhere from 1500 to $3,500, right? Or... What? Yes, yeah. So although the will is in the beginning, you're going to end up spending close to 4 to 7% of your total asset in the estate, not your heirs, will spend that money just to go through probate. Whereas a trust, you don't have to go to probate. You spend that money up front, and you never have to see that judge, right? So the trust now can be... One of two ways, revocable or irrevocable. Revocable means you can change your mind anytime, right? So yes. Joe made you mad at the last family. I'm going to take him out of the trust, right? How you know? I'm going to change my trust and I'm... <laughs> Did he really? Well, yeah, you can take him out. <laughs> no, but the thing is, while you're still alive, you can change that trust, right? That's irrevocable. You can change... A you, you know what? Yeah, Joe is your friend again by Christmas. Okay, let's let's change the trust and put him back in. But if it's irrevocable, once Joe is in, you can never take him out. You, as the person who created that trust, you give up all rights to ever choose. It's irrevocable, no matter what. Why would somebody choose a revocable? couple of things creditors you protect your assets from creditors from judgments from anything people cannot touch it if it's an irrevocable trust they can't touch it because technically you don't own the assets anymore it's the trust you can still get income from the trust right it's your money so while you're at you write your trust so that that rental property that you have is giving you money or whatever it is that's giving you money, the trust will give you that money. But they can't tr touch everything. Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's, it's, it's the, uh, it's, let me see, is the irrevocable trust, uh, it's, it's, it's taxed, correct? And the re revocable trust is, and the revocable, irre and the revocable trust, the, no, the irrevocable trust, so that's the pros and the cons. The irrevocable trust, you're not taxed. And the revocable trust, you are taxed. So, right? Oh, no? The, the trust is an entity by itself. It's just like a corporation. Yes, yes. That trust yes. is going to have its own tax ID number. Right. right. It's, whoa, it's whoa. its own entity. So that trust 
is going to file taxes and pay their taxes. But mm -hmm. because it has multiple assets within that trust, with a smart accountant or a smart tax preparer, there are things that can be done to kind of limit okay. how your tax. Okay. Final, last but not least, estate planning. Where, where that come in at? Where does the estate planning come in at? But all of these things are estate planning, right? Because you are making plans for what's going to happen with your assets long after you live, right? Where our okay. kids will inherit everything that we own. Oh, but I get yes, it. They can't spend it all in a lifetime because in that trust, we also have assets put aside for oh. our family Wow, and okay, I get it. This is where my husband and I come together with our estate planning, with my legal know-how and his financial background. We come together and we make a plan for people that include things, the documents you need, as well as the creation of annuities that will live for three, three or four generations. I'll tell you, it's something that I have never been into finance. That's his thing so much with him that I kick myself in the head because you tell people that these things are, you can do it with $25 a month. You don't have to have millions of dollars to create an estate, but people just don't understand or choose not to understand, right? But it's become a passion of mine to try to explain it to people because one of the things I noticed when I first moved to Florida, Mount, I always view Florida as the place where the elderly come to retire and enjoy their life, sit by the beach and chill. They're packing groceries at Publix and Walmart. Planning because of the lack of retirement invest, not being able to do that or not having the knowledge to do that. You talk about you talk about your husband a lot, and you you know you you lift him up and you honor him. That's that's a beautiful thing, uh, galore, right? So what what makes you what makes you and him? If y'all call yourselves a team or a firm, what makes you guys stand out from the rest? I think um, we started working together and really put heads together. Okay. And and for this, this team that we have when I started my journey, and I realized I have him and his knowledge on my side, there are things that I would not have known. Like, our life has not skipped a beat other than having to go to chemo. Still today, every three weeks, our life has skipped a beat. Our kids still enjoy a good life. We enjoy a good life. And that all comes from the planning that he has done. And it has been effortless. And so I think it's something, you know, that everybody needs to know. That's mm. why I do what I do. Well, let everybody know where to find you at. If they want to find you, get in touch with you, have a conversation, you know, you set the stage. Let everybody know where they can find you or get in touch with you and, and get in contact with you, please. So um, I'm going to give my husband's Instagram and mine. One in a million is mine, the number one in a, and then my last name, million. Am I? Yeah, you got you to gotta write it down, again. too. That's wow. Instagram. And his. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm J. Felix um, on Instagram. Um, I'll give his number because I know he always complains I'm on the phone. <laughs> I have both numbers. My number Ooh. is five six one four seven five nine four five zero. Um and his is nine five four four two nine seven two three five eight. And I'll write it. Yeah, do you write it either now or before you leave. I don't know. You really let, so man, you get you're giving out your number. What the let me screenshot that thing real quick. Ah no, I have your number. Okay. <laughs> Listen, so 
what do you consider yourself? Do you consider yourself? I'm, I just posted the office number. Okay, cool. 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 And where we reside? Where we, where we coming from? Where we at? We, listen, our, our business is, we're on wheels, okay? Right now, it's called the, the Zoom Reels. So we're everywhere. Um, you know, we, we live in Palm Beach County, but we cover all of South Florida. But we have members on our team in, I don't know, like 20-something states. Um, we have people working. And so we really have taken a liking to grooming people, training them to do what we do, because I think it's important. You know, so many of our people are either afraid or, or unsure of themselves and will not walk into a Charles Schwab, Edward Jones, to sit down and be like, listen, I got $50 a month. I need, right. you know, I don't have a pension. I need. Um, and a lot of people of, of, that look like us won't do that. We want to get the word out that you can do it with us, right? For little as $25, we can get you on the road to making sure you retire with dignity, right? Most um, definitely. Most definitely. I remember the, the first time I spoke with you, I, I, didn't, I, I, I didn't have a face with the voice. I'm like, man, she sounds so sweet. But we're on the, on the phone, you were telling me how you would go out your way and help me. And I'm like, whoa, what? So you, you're you telling me how you going out your way to help me. I'm like, wow, man, we need so much, so many more people. Like, I, I promise, that's how I felt. I was like, man, we need so many more people like this. Like, you don't really know me, but, you you know, and, and it, it's held true. It's, it's definitely held true. So definitely, you know, give that call a call. Give that number a call, y'all. Look, I'm rhyming. Give that number, y'all, give that number a call, y'all. Tell you, don't miss out now. Give that number a call, but definitely, um, I, I think it'll be a great conversation, whomever hits you up and calls you. Do you consider yourself a coach uh, or a mentor, a role model? Wow. I've maybe, never maybe really three. thought of that. <laughs> I really thought I probably am more of a mentor, right? Okay. Um, okay. I think yeah and i think they all kind of walk hand in hand together yes um, because if you're mentoring somebody that person will come to you for advice and sometimes need a little on how to so yeah they all kind of walk hand in hand together but i love doing that i really do because i think it extends from my desire to be an attorney was really to advocate for people who couldn't advocate for themselves and so I think, you know, that really has now led me to be more of a mentor and a coach too. Amazing, amazing. I, de I definitely want to continue to, to, to dabble on into you and, you know, your life and, you know, how you live. What, what's your morning, morning routine? Let me see. Because mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> see? Oh my God. <laughs> right. You're what's your morning routine? Right, I'm, I'm trying to think of mine. So, I, man, I, ooh, you don't want to hear mom. I, you want to hear mom. I go out, never, I never no, end. So what's your what daily you routine? Up at four o'clock in the morning. You you run ten miles at four o'clock in the morning. That's you, right? I'm, I didn't even put in the book yet. I didn't even write it in the book yet. How do you don't know? I I definitely <laughs> wake up in the morning. Now I definitely wake up by the grace of Most High. I definitely wake up in the morning, and I. As I wake up, I say, I say, I say, I say a little, a little prayer, right? I say, it's not, it's not the full prayer that I do later on, but I say a little prayer, you know, just thinking, thinking, thinking the most high that I wake up. Thereafter, I put on, you know, some clothes and I, I either go downstairs and, and work out. Now that I'm detoxing, I do a little, just a little workout, light workout. So I go downstairs and do a light workout. I got like 15 pound dumbbells and like a 15 pound kettle because i'm doing light because i'm detoxing you, you know what i'm saying i'm detoxing you know what i'm saying so after, and then after that um i come back shower and uh I, I i come back shower and i bring my daughter to the to the bus stop and then when i come back i do my prayer and then after my prayer i'm getting ready to get on the radio station yes radio station so go ahead what do you do what do you do what do you do what is your morning routine so, so my routine is it's a little different because I you, you you will hear me when I wake up in the morning. I really I don't 
I do not jump out of bed. Um, you scare me when I say I'm going to hear you. What, what, what's going on? <laughs> I <don't> hear you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I like, to be, I like to stay quiet and calm in the morning, right? Okay. So Jacques is a, like, he gets up and he's like, Rah! I'm like, Ooh, let's bring it down a notch, two or ten, right? But, but I have kids who have to get up for school. So there's always a little bit of yelling. But what I like to do is I wake up, I stay in my bed oh. doing affirmations, which I know to try to teach them that you wake up, you before you have to face the world. And so affirmations, um, I do thank the most high for giving me another day because those days for me are precious them. Um, I used to wait till Jacques left the house and got the kids out to do, you know, all of the issues and everything. Well, now I have the TV and I'm doing it right there because I know it's important for me to just before I keep, you know, I order and before I'm doing uh, text messages or emails because that's really my morning. Morning is returning calls, messages, texts, and things like that. So, that, but Sabine, that's why I asked you. Tea. You do tea. That's great. I do tea. That's great. But see, that's why I asked you, Sabine, because I know your morning routine, like I said, has purpose behind it because you, you've, been, you've, everyone been through something. I, I'm not downgrading any with anybody. That's what I'm, I've been through something. You know, everyone. But, you know, you're on Front Street right now. You're on this platform right now. And I know what you went through is, is, is so humongous, right? So that's why I asked you about your morning routine, because I wanted to see, like, how are you grateful for life? How do you celebrate life, boom, when you wake up? Don't freeze on me now. It's, it's, I'm, yeah, right. So, right. So that's how, that's what you do. You hear me? Am I freezing? You freezing? Somebody freezing? Absolutely. I think. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. Run it back. Oh, I said no. There was a call coming in, so it took me off for a second. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. See, you're getting caught. You get, it better be somebody. It better, it better be somebody that, 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 that that's on his live trying to call you too. How you doing, Jose? Oh. Flo, uh, BB yeah, Test Connection. They see me on live and they want to call me and tell me, hey, I see. Yeah. Oh, I'm freezing. Okay, yeah, they, they love her, man. They, they, I'm freezing. They love her. Phyllis Black Girl, Miss Land, they, lo they love her. So, so listen, Sabine, in the course of a day, right, do you say more yeses or you say more noes? Ooh, I want to know. If it's the kids, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. With the kids, it's always no. <laughs> but else, I think I probably say that's usually right. my go-to. You know, um, funny joke, right? You got a lawyer, an engineer, and a mathematician. And the guy comes in, he says, listen, two and two equals four. And everybody tells me it equals four. I want to be sure. He goes to an engineer. Engineer says, well, let's take a look. I, I got a protractor here. We're going to look at the angles and make sure it equals four. Yep, it equals four. Goes to mathematician. Dude, two and two. Does everybody agree all around this world? Two and two equals four. Mathematician takes out his calculator. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, equals four. Goes to an attorney and says, listen, I need to find out. Does two and two equal four? And the attorney wanted it to equal. So, basically for me, people come to me. If I'm mentoring you, if you have something that you're working on, we're going to find a way to make it happen. 
Wow. I like it. I like it. I like it. The, I like it. Give them, make the, let them make the decision, correct? Yeah. Well, help them to, it's, to get to where they want to go, right? Right, not, right. Is, will not always be a yes if it's not where you want to go, right? As a mentor, as a coach, I need to help you get where you want to go with my guidance. I love it. I love it. I love it. So tell me, Sabine, as a mentor and a coach, to not only me, but to everyone, right? As a mentor and a coach, is it a, be is it a best time to invest? Is there such thing as a best time to invest? Jeffrey, I, you got a pen and paper? Take note. Oh, Take note. Lord. Pressure, Take the pressure. What pin that? The pressure. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. The pressure. Okay. Lord. The best time to invest is yesterday. Got it? It's yesterday. Bye, bye. <laughs> I'm it. It's yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know hey, why? Let me finish it for you. Go ahead. Go the ahead. best time to Go invest ahead. is yesterday. The second best time is today. Today. Ah! <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Bye. Okay. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh <laughs> you my can come gosh. Back yes. Right. Right. Because we. Oh my gosh. Time. Time will make everybody comfortable if you're investing. Right. It's time. So don't wait till tomorrow. Do it yesterday. Because wow. if a 20 year old can invest a thousand dollars today and have over a million dollars without touching that money, why not do it? Right? The longer you wait, the longer it's going to take you. So if you're asking, when's the best time to invest? You've already, that day has already passed. It started. Oh my goodness. Ooh, boy, listen, bring it, bring it back. Maybe I need to catch a flight to another time zone to there maybe start back again. My there goodness. You, okay, you so go. listen, we 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 breaking there. it down to the last minutes, right? So you know, you know what I gotta tell everyone. You're special. You, you special, you special, yeah. you are special, Sabine, and I thank you. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to say is that all the time I put in some questions that make you think right so okay. we want to leave with some questions that make you think i know two plus two is four my turn to go say goodbye now <laughs> right right so so here it go and a lot of times i don't memorize it all right I got, here we go okay so your definition of success right what do you what do you think success means okay okay go 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 what do you think matters most for success is it the way you dress is it the way you talk or is it the company you keep? Oh, Jeffrey, why you get so deep like that? Coach Jeff, why you get so deep like that? Let me bring it back. What do you think matters most for success? The way you is it the dress? way you talk? Yeah, the way you dress, the way you talk, or the company you keep? Wow. What matters most in success? So for me, the way you dress is important, right? I know that's because right. That's the first impression people are going to get. They're oh, going to right. see, and automatically, whether they want to or not, they're going to form an opinion just by the way you look. That's right. Yep. Right? I know that's right. Yep. Um, the way you talk is important, right? Can't always be like, yo, what's up? What are you doing? But mm -hmm. for me, I believe that if you're saying something of value and you're making, and it's that thing is something that people want or need, they're going to look beyond the way you talk. But the company you keep, how you think, that shapes how you walk, that shapes everything about you. And your mindset is the strong thing in your life because it can limit your dreams 
mindset can be the thing that takes you beyond your wildest dreams. So for me, you know, the dressing and the talking, yeah, but those are things you can overcome. But if your mindset ain't right, you can never overcome that. Wow. Ooh, ooh. I have one more question, but I think I'm gonna end it right there. I think I think we is gonna I think we I think we is gonna end this right there. I think we is gonna end it right there. No, but wow, man. Wow, amazing, 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 amazing. I love to get blown away. I love what you bring to the table. I love how your life has gone. You know, like I said, the reason why I'm saying and I'm telling you you're special. Is because you went through something special that was meant for you to go to, go through, right? And Absolutely. a lot of people didn't know you before that. Perhaps that's a good thing because they get the best version of you right now, you know. But I, I, I definitely want to say that you know I love the way you cherish your life. I love the way you cherish life. I love that you are so soft spoken, but when you walk in the room, you demand attention. You know, I love the way. All the things that, that 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 come with being you as, you know, again, a lot of people don't know you're a, you're a cancer survivor. You know, a lot of people don't know that, but you, you, you hold it, you walk with pride with it, and, and we just, we thank you so much for all that. We thank you so much for all that. Um, I guess, you, I guess we can, I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to leave, so I guess okay. I can ask you one more question, right? I guess okay. I can ask you one more question, one more. right? So one more question. My question is, or our question is, uh, challenges, right? So, success without challenges and blank is a myth, right? So, fill that blank in for me. Success without challenges and blank is a myth. Is that does that make sense? Let me see. Success without challenges. It makes sense. It makes sense, but I might have two answers for that. But, uh, okay. Like, only one blank. Only one blank. Huh? One of those <laughs> you deserve should, more. <laughs> so one of those blanks should be failure. Success without failure, right? Because it's just like having something and never really fight. Or, you know, you appreciate it better, you guard it better, you cherish it better. Because you know what you went through to get there, right? And challenges are one thing. Challenges are hurdles. But when you hit rock bottom and you pick yourself up and make it to the successful pinnacle of all time, yo, it's sweet. And you won't forget that that failure is what pushed you up there. So... And my second blank would probably have to be sacrifice, right? It has to be sacrifice because it's not easy. And when people make a decision to push, to get through whatever it is in front of them and then reach that point of success, you know there are sacrifices that have to be made. So if I can be so bold, I'll take two blanks on that. Yeah. Hey, you got it. You got it. You got it. You took it from me. You got it. But no, but anybody, anybody who has reached rock bottom, put an emoji. I don't care what emoji you put in. You know, just don't put in the middle finger, but put an emoji in there for anybody who's hit rock bottom. If you hit rock bottom, then you can feel what Sabine is saying. You can feel what this is all about. Sabine, we love you. We thank you. Definitely write your number down there again. Anybody want to get in contact? Everybody, I believe everybody should. Listen, again, you know, we're not all made salesmen. We don't have to sell anything, you know, maybe not up front. No, we don't have to sell anything, but let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Let's say, I appreciate you. Let's say, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Let's say, hey, we let's, let's go out for brunch sometime. You know, let's. Let, come on now. I just had somebody come in my office who, who broke so much bread with me and I didn't even ask him. Oh my goodness. A, a lifelong blueprint. God, 
guys and girls, we need women. We need more of that. We need more. And so Sabine from the heart, we appreciate you for all that you give, especially on this live, especially what you do day to day. What more can I say? Thank you so much. Thank you. Listen, this has been a lot, lot of fun. I, w I was a little bit afraid to talk to your lives. I was right. like, oh, you have come. Oh, yeah. But I We're, really we... enjoyed it. Um, definitely, I'll, I'd love to come back anytime you have me. Are you kidding me? We probably gonna have to have a, a four screen. No, we gonna have a three screen. The way you talk about your husband, we gonna have a three screen. I'm gonna have to bring my wife. We gonna have a four screen. Then when your dog try to come in, we gonna have a five screen. I'm gonna bring my dog. We gonna have a six screen. That's what we gonna do. It's gonna be a family affair up in here, huh? And I'm getting hot. Let me let me. I'm getting too hot right now. But if you wanna leave us with anything, Sabine, leave us with something so we can go and we can we can we can ponder on all that you said and we can take it and use it, utilize it for life. Um, well, I think the first thing I want to say is what you do, um, you know, the academy that you have and, and the people that you work with, that's what I'm talking about, giving back what you have. You know, what we have up here, it's ours, but when you share it, it's an amazing gift that you're leaving to this world. And so those are things that we have to share share freely, right? It's not something you could put in a box or put on a shelf in the library and have somebody pick up. No. And you take your time and sacrifice your time to do that. And I think that's amazing. Continue to do what you do. You're an inspiration to me. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so but much. But I want to say there, um, one thing, do not allow your to limit what you think you can accomplish. The entire world is out there. Don't let people say no to you. There's somebody out there that's going to, or somebody that's going to say, well, what do you want it to be? Don't take the no's. Do not let that, you know. I believe that we, as they say, we only use 10% of our brain. So there's so much out there that we can't even think about we can't even fathom and so do not limit yourself that's all i got wishing everybody blessings 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 oh thank you so much sabine i mean you have a great night listen uh you know i i, I thank everyone who's on this live you guys are champions you guys made it happen again next week you know we're here again we're going to give shout outs to, to, to Sabim and everyone who's been before. You know, just stay tuned. Listen, subscribe, subscribe. I don't care if I'm saying it wrong. Subscribe and follow one in a million, please. And push that notification button so you don't miss anything she drops. Jacques is well, her husband. You know, y'all, y'all show some love and show some support. We're doing it every time, same time again. We love you. We thank you for it all. Definitely have a great one. Have a great night. You guys, give her a call. You know, be, be a part of the movement and not a part of the problem, all right? Much respect. Thank you so much, Sabine, for your story, for everything you're doing. Blessings to all. I didn't see any emojis, but we love y'all. We love y'all, okay? Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Same time next week, people. We got somebody. We got somebody again to hit you up. So thank you so much, guys. BB Connections, you know, uh, um, Culture Club, DZ, we want to thank, we want to thank Jacques Sabine always, man, Nikki Tangs, Miss Land, Phyllis Black Girl, Donna, it goes on and on, Jose, we want to thank all of you guys, we love you, and we thank you, have a great night, same time, next week again, and we on the radio, guys, Z, 96.1 at 7.30 every day, AM, love you.